is another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. The subject of this training video for Microsoft Office version 2007 is Microsoft Outlook email message options. I've constructed an email to be delivered to all students in the training class requesting their response to the training evaluation of thus far. In the email message from the message ribbon, I'm going to select the options group and click on the button to access the dialog box. Here's a screenshot of the message options dialog box. I've set the importance level of this email message to be high. This indicates the high selection based on a red exclamation point icon. A low message importance setting would be indicated by a blue arrow pointing down and the default is normal. The high setting also impacts the speed at which the email message is delivered. Since electronic email gets in queue, much like the U.S. Post Office, email messages marked with high importance level are processed faster. Sensitivity options include normal, personal, private, and confidential. I've set this to be confidential. Voting button options provide a quick way for the recipient to respond to the email message by clicking on a button found in the header of the email message. The default option is approve or reject. Other options include yes, no, and the always unequivocal yes, no, maybe. Notice this is a text sensitive field. The text is selected. My mouse pointer looks like an I beam on this field. That tells us we can create our own voting buttons. I'm going to create custom voting buttons by typing the new entries and separating the entries by the semicolon. My custom voting buttons will be meaningful, semicolon, not meaningful, semicolon, and not unmeaningful. I've requested a receipt for when the email message was opened. This is a red receipt. This word probably should be open. I'm going to talk to Bill about that. I could have replies to the email message sent to another user. I have time sensitive dates for the email message to be delivered after a particular date or having it expire after a date. I've associated this email message with a contact so I can later look at the contact and see a history of the email. If I click the contacts button, I can navigate through my contact, select one, and make the application here. I'll click close, and I'll click send. When I go to my unread email folder, this is one of the search folders in Outlook 2007, I can see that students have responded these are my receipts and in the subject field I can see the selection that they made for the response. It's a quick way for me to see how recipients responded to the email. If I go to my sent items folder, if I open the email message I sent and click on the tracking button, here I see a list of recipients when the email message was read and their response. So voting buttons also allow me to conveniently track in a single location the replies by the recipients. I'm going to demonstrate the association of the email message with a contact. While viewing my contacts folder, I'm going to open the contact called Bill Gates. The general information is in the foreground for the contact, including name, company, title, and so on. If I click the Activities button under the Contact tab, and evaluate the activities associated with the contact. I notice that we have two items associated with the email contact. Where the subject is the training evaluation request. So by associating an email message with the contact it's easy to see the history just by looking at the contact and clicking the activities tab. To review while creating a new email message in Microsoft Outlook version 2007, under the Message tab, we can select the Options button and in the dialog box make changes for message settings such as importance, sensitivity, voting buttons, 
you can create your own receipts for when the message was delivered a receipt for when the message was read replies can be sent to other users time sensitive dates and associating an email message with a contact email message options in Microsoft Outlook version 2007 another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the office have on Dell Institute.com